Singaporean customers crying foul over Malaysia's ban on poultry exports. It's putting the city-state's national dish at risk and threatens many livelihoods which rely on the steady supply of chooks from across the causeway. Most chicken rice stores, if not 100% of chicken rice stores, all use fresh chicken rice, basically uh, imported live, slaughtered, so the ban would mean we are no longer able to sell. It's like McDonald's with no burgers. Stall owners here will still operate using chilled or frozen chicken imported from other countries. Prices will go up. Sellers expect a strong hit in sales and say they'll be happy if they sell half the volume they usually do. Malaysia has halted exports of 3.6 million chickens a month without a specific end date. The ban will be in place until domestic prices and production stabilise. Prices of chicken products have soared amid the increasing costs of chicken feed, imported grain and soybean impacted by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and uncertain weather patterns, creating a global shortage. Farmers in Malaysia are worried that when their regular customers turn to suppliers in other countries, it'll be hard to get them back. So this export ban will definitely be temporary, temporary solution, but we have a long-term headache. As many as seven harvest cycles of 45,000 birds each time, this year will be reduced to five cycles and everyone in the chain will be affected. I hope the government does more and thinks about people like us. We do business and chicken prices are up. I pity these chicken butchers too, they are affected as well. Some lament the already high prices which have made chicken unaffordable for many. I see no difference if there is or isn't an export ban. The prices are still the same. Officials expect supply and prices to normalise within a month. Yvonne Young, ABC News.